morning. Good morning to you on this Saturday. I'm Lynn Smith and first this morning a mystery in Mexico after an Iowa family of four is found dead in their vacation con. Well, send of all. Thank you so much for that. We're going to follow that march all throughout the morning. Well, anyone else? Civil rights groups are vowing to fight the ban. The ACLU calls it reckless and unconstitutional. It's coming out this morning. President Trump says he had no choice but to sign a $1.3 trillion spending bill to keep the government funded and to make sure the military has the funding it needs. And college basketball squared off in the NCAA men's tournament last night. Coy Wire has all your headlines in this morning's Bleacher Report. We're talking burying about... Burying the headline that I, I'm totally busted in it, <laughs> finally. You were doing well. Justice is served. You were in first place. <laughs> Lynn, you were. Hey, we're talking about two leaders here, Lynn, who have coached in the Elite Eight. So we'll see if you can keep that magnificent record running. Coy Wire, thank All you right. so much. You're welcome. Well, a Kansas water park and its director of operations are charged with involuntary manslaughter in connection with a boy's tragic death. All right, March Madness certainly continuing this weekend. So Sweet 16 ended certainly a few dreams, but the Elite Eight, oh, we got some more probably. coming up. I mean, what a March Madness this has been, right, Lynn? I mean, if we have had so much happen, even Lynn Smith sitting at the top of our <laughs> brackets here at HLN until the Elite Eight. And she picked her team sitting at random at the salon, I, I think. I did. <laughs> I was like, that Coy. Well, that does it for us today here at Weekend Express. We do hope to see you back here tomorrow morning starting at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Up next, Forensic Files. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Good morning to you on this Sunday. It's good to have you. I'm Lynn Smith. We begin with this bizarre story out of Texas. An arranged marriage, a missing person case, and a disturbing conclusion. A 16-year-old from Texas is found alive and safe after almost two months, and now her parents are charged with abusing her for refusing to marry a man who paid her family $20,000. Here's more from our San Antonio affiliate, KSAT. The sheriff said it's possible the parents could face additional charges and the man who paid to marry the girl could be charged as well. Survivors of a high school shooting that took 17 lives turned the march for our lives into a massive... There were people of all ages out there protesting yesterday. Well, celebrities were out in full force supporting the march yesterday. Comedian Amy Schumer called out the NRA at that rally in L.A. All right, before the Final Four tips off in San Antonio, a group of cancer survivors will be playing a basketball game on the same court, and they will be united by powerful, inspiring stories that Koi Wire always brings us. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Miss Lynn. Yeah, basketball has always been a Zation Lynn, and yeah. you know, it's, it's not what happens in life. It's how we go through it, and, and people like Crystal and others surviving and thriving through cancer. They remind us of that in a yeah. way that most others never could. A reminder so many people need. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Coy. We appreciate it. She went through. I'm going to bring in Dr. Sujatha Reddy because there are healthy alternatives to managing your child's weight. Thank you for being with me. Um, when you do have a child that maybe isn't at the most healthy weight, how do you have a conversation with them so you don't set them up for insecurity their whole life? Absolutely right. I struggle with the sense of Chrissy is dealing with the fact that she is overweight and her siblings are not. So what do you do if you're in that family dynamic where one of the child may feel insecure about that. Yeah, and that's focus on though the whole family being healthy and as a parent this too. So, you know, we need to have parents start thinking about being healthy and making healthy choices too. And family dinner times to look internally and say, listen, I might be part of the problem. It's okay to accept it. The most important thing is that we have healthy children and make the good changes. Thank you so much for being with us. That does it for us today here at Weekend Express. Thank you so much for spending part of your weekend with us and hope you can come back tomorrow morning for Morning Express with Robin Mead. It starts at 6 a.m. Eastern time. Up next, unmasking a killer. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you back here next weekend. Take care.